Hi guys, it's the Craftineer here, and today I have a haul for you guys. So, as you can see, I bought a lot of items, and these are from the Queen City Doll and Collectibles show. So if you're interested in seeing more from these items, then stay tuned! So the very first place that I bought some stuff at was uh, O Smiley's Doll and Collectibles. But yeah, let's jump right into it. So, I will warn you, there are a lot of flutters because we're getting ready to do a trip to Iceland and I was pretty much on the hunt for like sweaters and stuff like that. So, this was the first item that I bought. This is like a sweater dress. I thought the pattern was super, super cute. And I think this is for Barbie, so hopefully it'll fit. I've put on Barbie clothes before, and... It seems to fit. Um, came with this little bag. It opens. Don't really care too much for it. And it came with boots. Uh, I guess. These are little plastic. Here's a little hat. Obviously this will not fit my cloak, so I'll be using that. These I was excited about. Uh, little stockings. I don't have any of these yet for her, so that'll be cool. And then I guess this is just a scarf. So the next item is this one. It is like extremely bright, but I thought it was funky. Uh, so this is my first time taking everything out of the bag, so the vest is attached to it. But this thing, like the pattern on it was what I absolutely loved. Yeah. Has the velcro in the back so i'm really hoping this all fits pull up this next one now it's not a sweater but i thought it was super adorable it's actually like an easter dress isn't that cute oh my god i cannot wait to put that on her you see all the little bunnies and the little easter eggs. It's so adorable. I cannot wait to put this on her. Then I got her some pants because she doesn't really have any. I think I have like shorts for her at the moment. So I definitely wanted to get her some like jeans. Okay, here's a dress, another dress. Funny. I said I was looking for sweaters and I bought her stuff that aren't sweaters, haha. -ha. I just couldn't like pass up on these. The patterns were so adorable. It's the back. Alright, back to the sweaters. <laughs> or at least like the coats. This one's super vintage-y, but I don't know, I kind of liked it and, oh, it's not, hopefully I can clean that up a little bit. You can definitely tell this one is a bit worn, it's very thin. We'll see. Hopefully I can like hide that in the back so I can take pictures of her. And then this final one from them is actually a cape, but I thought it was super cool. The lady told me that it had no label on it or anything, so she thinks that somebody just like handmade it. So it opened to be up here and it came apart, but that's okay. I can fix that. And yeah, she would just wear it on, like... And then the very last thing I got were these American Girl glasses. I really hope they fit her. Don't even know if they're like the right size. Okay, oh, this is so cute. Okay, so I didn't realize this was like a carrying case for them. 
So that's pretty handy. And then here are the glasses. I think they're super cute. I really hope these fit. They seem like they're the, about the right size. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, so that was it for the O'Reilly dolls and collectibles haul. Then the next two places I bought stuff from, I have no idea. I, I don't think there are stores or anything like that. It's just people selling their stuff. Get into those. Here's the very first one. As you can see, it is six dollars. And so sorry if you can hear my dogs running around in the background. So this one is kind of like the cape that I showed you guys. Except this one is leather, hopefully faux leather. leather. But yeah, so it works the same exact way. It has the little holes for the arms, and then it has all the little buttons. And it just sits on top of it like that. Then I found some more dresses. Uh, oops, to take it out of the bag without showing you guys. It's this red one. It has like a flower pattern on it. So I had known in the bag it had like some cotton stuck in it. There we go. But yeah. How beautiful is that? I'm trying to get this thing to straighten out here. And again, this one was also like in the vintage section. Here's another one of the dresses that I got. Gotta cut all these little strings off of it. For the most part, it looks okay. It just fits right in through here. Okay. And then the final one from that place, which I was super excited about. Oh, it came in this bag. The main reason that I got it was because of this, like, trench coat. I completely fell in love with this guy and I opened it up and it says Ralph Lauren collection. So I have no idea if this is really Ralph Lauren for like Barbies or something, but that's pretty neat. I mean, it's fine if it's not, but that's pretty cute. But yeah, I completely fell in love with this and I was like, well, I'll buy the whole thing just so that I can have this little trench coat because it is just perfect. But yeah, let me hold it out. There we go. Go back. Then along with the trench coat came another pair of pants. It's these guys right here. They're super beautiful and then it has like a little belt attached to it. Again, they close in the back. A little button. Yeah, they're kind of a lighter gray than what you're actually seeing on the video. But yeah, so I got these after I had bought her jeans. So now I have two pair of pants for her. So that's pretty cool. Um, this, I had no idea was in there, but I kind of like, because uh, I actually love wearing these in, like, my everyday uh, regular life. I love turtlenecks, 
and I love when they're like onesies like these. I think they look so classy. So that's pretty cool that my pull-up will have one and then it has like the little button there. See, it's like a little... I want to say leotard, but I don't think that's the right word for it. And then the final thing is like this, um, oh god, what's the name? Like blazer. Pretty fancy. It kind of reminds me like if she's going to be like the captain of a boat or something. But it's pretty cool and seems to be in good condition. Need to like iron this or something. And put a lint brush on it. And, but yeah, that's super cute. So I like that. Then it came with this little bag. And the last thing, which I don't even know if these will fit her. They probably will. It's like little flats. So she is like ready for business with this clothes. Yeah, so that's it for the second place. And then the final one I didn't really get that many things from. And this place had adorable sweaters. Now, it says that these are actually for Ken, but I really don't care. Like, I will put these on her because this is freaking adorable. And like I said, I want to put these on her while we're in Iceland. And we're not going in December, we're going in October. So it wouldn't be fitting if I had her wearing like Christmas clothes. So this one was okay. And again, I don't care if it was for Kim. And then this one, I just bought. Now this one really is like a Christmas one. So it has like snowflakes on it. But I just thought it was super cute. Gonna have her looking all sexy during Christmas time with this little guy. Isn't that adorable? Velcro. But yeah, I thought this dress was like super pretty with all the snowflakes. I'm gonna have to figure out, probably have to like stitch that down so it doesn't keep curling up. The very last thing I bought from them were clothes hangers. Let me grab them all. Clothes hangers. So I just got these guys. Probably should have gotten more, but whatever. It's fine. And I got these green ones. But yeah, but that's it for clothes. And then, like I said, I got a doll. Yeah. Here it is. So I was looking for more pull-up dolls and I couldn't find anything, but I found her boyfriend. And he has like a pink eye and like a blue eye. I have no idea what color that is. And his hair, I think it goes from like black to silver. And then he's wearing this like leather outfit. I'll show you what he's supposed to look like in a little bit, but he kind of freaked me out when I first saw him. Cause I was like, what in the world is he wearing? And I've been really like searching for one of them just so I could have her boyfriend. So I decided to buy him, but yeah, that is what he's supposed to look like. But yeah, I have no idea what he's wearing. If somebody knows what he's wearing, please tell me. I mean, I can look it up also, but yeah. But yeah, he's not going to be staying like that. I, I'll probably do another video where I unbox him and like show everything that's inside. But yeah, he's not staying that way. I do plan on doing like a face up and customizing him. But yeah. That was the very last thing that I got. I really hope you enjoyed my haul, and if you're interested in seeing what my pull-up looks like with all the clothes on, then stay tuned for my next video. Thanks for watching!